Yes, good evening. It is nine o'clock on Tuesday, the 9th of July. I am Marco. No, my name is not Dave Van Basten. <laughs> oh, that one will do. Yes, it is the day before the big balloon popping escapade, which is going to go on tomorrow in Europe. More about that a bit later in the show. But let's get straight in with the titles. The scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade. UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Yes, it is me. It's nine o'clock on Tuesday. These balloons, metaphorically speaking, will be going to Brussels tomorrow on the Vape train. More about that at the end of the show. I'll uh, give you just a brief run through for the last time about what is happening tomorrow. Um, but before then, we've got bits of VT. We've got a very special show of yours this week. Very special. Um, but we're going to start this week with, when I get my little video, there it is. Uh, we're going to start this week with a little vapour trail I recorded at the weekend when I still had my big beard. It's gone now. Um, and uh, yes, I had some juice sent from Nigel at Tea Juice. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be bringing them, as I mentioned in the video, with me on the vape train. Um, but here it is. Enjoy. Hello, how are we doing? I am uh, sat in my car, not driving, there's no noise, uh, <laughs> and I thought I would do a little juicy juicy, yes, a little juicy juicy today, and I have this, and this is high voltage from tea juice, uh, and it is um, PG VG, and it's 24 milligram, and Nigel at um, tea juice very kindly sent me three juices, there was the high voltage, uh, Tangerine Dream and another one called Quintessence and I've been looking at those other two at a later date but today I'm going to talk about the high voltage uh, and it's a really strange juice it is very strange it's menthol and maraschino cherry yeah maraschino cherry um, and it actually looks like the juice you get in the jars of uh, maraschino cherries and if you don't know what those are maraschino cherries are the little red cherries that you get in cocktails like um, a snowball or something like that and you get them in the uh, in the supermarket in little jars and I absolutely love them <laughs> I really do like them um, but it's kind of an almond flavor um, with cherry and it's very nice um, but this juice is a mixture of both menthol and maraschino cherry. I've got it in the pro tank, as you see, and I've just refilled it because uh, I've vaped most of what was in there before. And I wish my camera didn't keep doing that flash thing. It's a bit strange, but there you go. Hmm. You kind of get menthol. It's not a really strong menthol. Um, but then you get this lovely maraschino cherry flavour in your mouth as you're inhaling. And then you get it more on the exhale as well. Um, it's really, it's not, it's not in your face. It's really subtle, the flavouring. And you can smell it in the vapour. Um, and it's very nice indeed. I'm liking that a lot. And the Pro Tank is uh, the same coil uh, that I had in it when I first showed you it a few weeks ago. Um, obviously I've washed it out in between juices and uh, dried it quite nicely. Um, and it's still performing very well. 
I have to say. Uh, and I noticed Dave on the Haze Hour on Thursday was musing with uh, using the ProTank base or the ProTank coil assembly in the, I haven't got one with me, the BCC. Um, the BBC, the Vision Victory BBC, uh, which we know is actually the Vision Victory BCC. Uh, and he was uh, musing with the fact that that would probably fit. And uh, he's probably right, to be fair. And uh, I might have a little look at that when I get home. Um, the tube inside will be slightly longer, um, but that actually shouldn't make any difference at all. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that, and I might, uh, I might bring you that on Tuesday. Yeah, or tonight. <laughs> I might bring you that later on tonight um, in the show. So uh, yes, tomorrow is the, the big event, the uh, EU Parliament balloon popping event. And I am looking forward to it like you would not believe. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, Mrs. Dunda McCabe is going to be calling me at some point during the day because she's asked for my mobile number. So she now has my mobile number. So with any luck, she'll give me a call and we will be doing an interview. So keep fingers crossed because uh, it will be about a time that we actually hear from Mrs. McCabe herself. Um, so, there you go. But anyway, back to the juice. <laughs> uh, and I have to say, it is um, very Moorish. Um, it is one that I could very easily vape all day because it's not an in-your-face juice. It's very subtle flavouring. Uh, and I could very nicely just use this all day and not bother about anything else. Hmm. I will be bringing um, this juice and the quintessence and also the tangerine dream with me tomorrow. So if you're on the vape train and you'd like to uh, have a try, um, come and see me and I will give you a squeeze <laughs> of my juice <laughs> so you can uh, you can have a go as well I should have enough for a couple of people to have a little taste if you've got a dripper with you even better because you can have a few drips uh, and you can uh, tell me what you think maybe we can do a juicy juicy um, feature in Brussels uh, with um, someone else's juice that might be an idea if we get time I mean we've got uh, We've got two hours on the train each way, so if any of the people who are going on the train want to do any ad hoc juicy juices um, on the train, there or back, then uh, let me know. I'll be there with my camera and everything else, so that will be good. Um, and I'm sure we're going to be doing lots of other filming of other things during the day as well, so it's all going to be good. Anyway, I think we'll go back to me in the studio. And I'll go and see if I can finish up working and get myself home. So, 
back to me in the studio. Yes, back to me in the studio. Uh, thank you, Sanders. I was looking at chat there. I do look a lot younger when I haven't got the bushy beard because um, you don't see as much grey. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, someone else mentioned in there, is there going to be a live stream from Brussels? Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, wish we could because it would be just ace if we could do that but logistically it's just not possible um maybe from vape fest we're looking at doing a live a live uh, show from vape fest but don't hold me to it because uh, we've still got to iron some things out if we are going to do that um what else was that yes the um the pro tank um coils on the vision victory bcc do work but not the other way around because the ones from the Vision Victory BCC are too short for the ProTank, um, but because the ones from the ProTank are longer, they just fit up the tube. Um, so if you're desperate, you can always use one of those. Uh, I did try it, and I would have showed you it, but like I said earlier in the pre-show, close up cam is packed, because that's what I'm taking to Brussels tomorrow. Okay, let's now go to this week's Show Is Yours, and it's a very special Black Balloon Edition. And now it's time for Show Is Yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Nicotine replacement therapy. What's all that about? Do they want to kill us? It seems yes, without a doubt. We can smoke cigarettes or cigars. They're fine for all of us. They want to take our research and won't lift their on us. But now we flexed our muscles to take them on in Brussels. We're gonna burst 200 black balloons One, two, three, four Black balloons Black balloons Black balloons Black balloons One, two, three, four We've all got our E6 and our favorite juice we're gonna take a little trip today We're going to some pancreas to catch a Eurostar And pretty soon we'll all be on our way We're going to Brussels, look at Brussels town The vapors will be arriving soon We are all united, we're coming uninvited To protest and to burst a black moon One, two, three, four Black Cigarettes are dangerous, everybody knows They kill at least 2,000 every day We vapors are determined to make our voices heard Please don't take our decent away Our protest will be peaceful, we want the world to know That vaping will surely come to pass Politicians just don't get it, they want our E6 band They've got all their fat heads up there One, Ooh. two, three, four Black balloons Black balloons Black balloons Black balloons One, two, three, four We're sick of being treated like lots of naughty kids It's the kind of thing that every grown-up hates your heads from where the sun don't shine we really don't need your nanny states black balloons black balloons black balloons black balloons one two three four black balloons black Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's extended <laughs> Show is Yours gallery with uh, Black Balloons, performed there by Gerso, um, who didn't get mentioned last night. And uh, Dave wanted me to make sure that we did mention Gerso because he spent a lot of time 
doing that song, which we think is fab. And we've all got it on our iPhones to play everywhere tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be good. Going to be good. Uh, yes, it is 2,000 black balloons. 2,000. Um, so not 200, but 2,000. It's going to take us a little bit of time to blow them up with our non-smoking lungs, but it's going to be fun. Oh, yes. Um, I am going to go into the brakes in a second, but before I do, I just want to mention this, which is Gary Dibley's Just Giving page uh, for this year's Children in Need appeal. And uh, I did this just before he went live. So £928 just before he went live. Uh, and the address there, www.justgiving.com forward slash Gary Dibley one. Uh, and all the money goes straight to Comic Relief. And a big shout out goes to Todd and his Facebook followers because they raised a load of money and passed it on to Gary. So well done all. But before we do that, I almost forgot, we need to show you who's won this week's show is yours. And it is Mark Shaw, who sent this picture in a little while ago. So well done, Mark. I will be contacting you after the show, telling you how you get your juice. And as ever, if you would like to put yourself in the draw for next week's show, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv is the place to go. Uh, send me your email by 12 o'clock on the Tuesday and I will hopefully get you into that week's gallery. Right, let's go to the break. Uh, when we come back, a bit of ET with uh, a little toy that I bought recently. See you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And it is indeed part two. And uh, according to the Skype chat, I inadvertently said comic relief and not children in need <laughs> for Gary's appeal. It is in fact for children in need 2013 as Gary does every year and of course the big raffle will be happening and the limited edition one-off tips every night at 8.30 on UKV Modders Forum as well. Don't forget those. Uh, yes, so children in need, not comic relief. <laughs> the other thing was uh, chat was scrolling past uh, during the first VT. Uh, Linda McHaven, I've been trying to get an interview with for some time, for she is my local MEP. Her office is not much more than 10 minutes away from my house. Uh, and I've been emailing to and fro, and we've been to and froing for 
months now. Uh, and last week she agreed to meet me tomorrow in Brussels, but not until after 6.30 p.m. And as you all know, we'll be on the train home by then. So she emailed me again on Friday and uh, asked me for my mobile number and said if she can find the time, she will call me. So fingers crossed that she finds the time and calls me because we really need to hear from Mrs. McCaven. And if you're watching Mrs. McCaven, meet me tomorrow. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I'm already over time. It's going to happen, I'm afraid. Um, next bit of ET is about a little toy that I bought, which um, Dave K showed some time ago on Dave's Tackle Box, and it's an ultrasonic cleaner. Now, it doesn't like my radio mic, I have to say. So there's a little section in there where it gets a bit noisy. Um, but nice little bit of equipment for cleaning stuff. So have a little look. Some of you will know from a few weeks ago that uh, on Dave's Tackle Box, he showed his latest toy. And his latest toy was one of these, an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, I saw that show and I thought, yeah, I'm going to get one of those. And I've been looking at this one for quite some time. Uh, and I kept seeing it on offer. And in the end, I bought it. So what I thought I'd do is clean up a few bits and pieces. And I'm going to fill it first. So I'm just going to lift the lid. And in here is a little line which indicates the most you can fill it to, the maximum. So what I have here is just clean water. And it's hand hot, just out of the tap. And I'm going to do it just under the maximum. And you can just use water. Uh, you could add a little bit of washing up liquid. Um, I've got this stuff called Sea Clean which uh, you can get. I've got this from Maplins. Um, and I'm going to put in two caps. And this is actually made from seaweed, this cleaner. So there's no chemicals, it's all natural stuff. There you go. So I've got two capfuls of the cleaner. And one of the things you get with the unit is this little handy tray, which fits in quite nicely. And that means that anything metal shouldn't jangle around too much. Uh, and I've got a few things. I've got a top from the iClear 30. I've got my nice long drip tip. I've got the top cap from my Arga T. I've got the top cap from my Arga T2. And I've got another drip tip. I've got a Cyan Mods. 306 dripping atty drip tip. I've got another drip tip. I have a 510 to 510 adapter. And I've also got Phoenix atomizer, dripping atomizer. And I'm going to put the whole thing in, including the coil and the wick. There you go. So this unit will go from 90 seconds all the way up to 480 seconds. And I'm going to put this on for 280 seconds. And you set the time and you say, go. And off it goes. And you can hear it buzzing away. And what it's doing is sending ultrasound waves through the water and if I lift the lid and uh, zoom in slightly zoom a lot you can see things moving around very gentle back and we'll leave it going speed it up and come back in a second
finished. So let's have a look at what you could have won. <laughs> we'll take out the cyan mods tip and it has cleaned up very nicely, I have to say. So the thing to do is to take everything out with the little tray so it'll all stay nice and together. Turn them all the right way round and then everything else it can stay in there and you can see the water. Now let me zoom in because that is pretty gunky, I have to say. So let's take this away out of the way. And put those on there. And you can see it's done a pretty good job of cleaning these up, just need drying off. Marker T2, Marker T, the Siam tip, I clear 30 top, another Gunky 510 which is nice and clean and the Phoenix get it so you can see it little fat drip tip which I like it's very nice and the, the 510 to 510 has come up amazingly very good now the question is will that fire now hmm Let's put it on the SVD and see what happens. Because although it looks like it shouldn't, maybe it will. Yeah, it's telling me it's got uh, a resistance of three. And there you go. <laughs> uh, let's just turn up the power. I've got it on lock at the minute, the SVD. So. 11 watts. A little bit of a dry spot there, but that's fine. There's no juice on it. So that's worked quite well. And if I put this back together, there you go. Nice and clean. Not a bad way of doing it, really, is it? Not much faff at all, and you can see how clean the inside of these are and they don't get too dirty anyway but it has brought everything up and more importantly it's cleaned the threads and that's the issue I was having with the 510 to 510 the, the threads had got a little bit dirty so it wasn't going on properly but now it's lovely and clean and it will so there you go that was my little lamp on it cleaner. Back to me in the studio. Yes, there you go, the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I was watching chat there, it's kind of scrolled a bit too quick. Uh, I paid $29.99 for that one. It's now up to $44.99. Uh, I got it from Maplins and they do have it on offer quite a lot. So uh, I'm sure you can get it around about 30 quid um, and you can get cheaper ones as well i just bought that one because it was on offer i use maplins quite a lot and i get vouchers through the post and stuff in fact i was there today buying a new battery charger and some batteries uh, for tomorrow uh, so i've got batteries charging everywhere <laughs> of different sizes and types um, but yes and the sea clean was about uh, 9.99 i think it was buy one get one free or buy one at half price um, so but you can just use a little bit of washing up liquid or a little bit of star drops maybe. Uh, I just rinse everything afterwards with clean water and only use just 
just hot water out of the tap, not boiling water and not too hot. If you can put your hand in it, fine, um, because uh, someone else said in chat there, uh, the process does heat it up because of the old sonic waves going through it. Um, I'm already over time, sorry cat. Um, but I must just uh, give an update on tomorrow. So let me bring up the little bit of uh, pictures. There we go. So the meeting place in Brussels tomorrow is Place de Luxembourg. Uh, and we're going to get there um, on the Eurostar, which leaves King's Cross St Pancras uh, at 8.58 UK time. Uh, and we're going to meet in as, as soon as possible, really. I know Dave and Sav will be at King's Cross St Pancras at the group check-in point, the group check-in desk uh, in the Eurostar terminal from 7.30. I should be there about uh, quarter to eight. I'm not six foot 19. I'm not six foot 19, I'm six foot five. <laughs> you all know what I look like, those of you going. Um, so, you know, and you also know what Sav and Dave look like. So you spot us, that's where we're gonna be. Uh, and then uh, head off on the train, get to Brussels, and we're going to arrive at, on that little uh, graphic there, uh, Gare du Midi, uh, which is the station and we'll be getting on the metro and taking line two. I'm just bringing my other screen up so I can see it. Uh, metro line two, and we're going to go about five stops to a stop called Troon. And then at that point, we're going to exit the metro and use Shanks's pony. And we're going to walk all the way down there. Uh, it's Luxembourg Strat, I believe. Um, and we will eventually, in about 10 minutes, you know, gentle meander, if you like, end up there, which is right in front of the European Parliament building. Um, and all will be good. So, as I said last week, if you're going to take a helicopter, probably not advisable. <laughs> but that little green oval is where we are going to be all meeting. And then um, the balloons will be inflated uh, and we will be popping them in succession. Dave and Sav are organising all that side of things. They've got everything down there with them. They're in London now. Um, I'm leaving at 4.30 in the morning to get down to uh, Doncaster to get my train at half past five. I'll get to London about half past seven and get into King's Cross and Pancras about quarter two. And then when we come back, we are getting, let me go to my Excel sheet. Here we go. Uh, we're getting the 1856 back from Brussels, Gare du Midi gets into King's Cross St Pancras at 1957 uh, and then on to our onward journeys. It's coach 5 on the way out and it's coach 16 on the way back uh, and Dave has got all the tickets so make sure you have your passport with you because <laughs> if you turn up without your passport you probably ain't going to get on the train. Um, so there you go. It's going to be epic uh, and then Dave, as you know, will be uh, in a meeting on uh, Thursday where uh, Mr. Mean is going to be. He's down there with Jerry. Uh, and then he's hoping to get a show put together for Thursday night. So fingers crossed for the haze out on Thursday night. Uh, of course, Dave's tackle box, hopefully on Sunday. Uh, now, tin your tip is tomorrow night. So all your tin your tippers, um, it's tomorrow night at nine o'clock with Gary and Mark. Don't forget that. And of course, as you know, there is no DE talk tonight because Dave is not here to uh, do what he does. Oh, there you go. Right. I think that's it. I'm well over. Very sorry, Kat. But there's no, there's no DE talk, so I can go a little bit over. Um, I will see you all next week. Those of you that are going on the vote train, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yes. It's going to be epic. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll have some stuff cut up for you um, for next Tuesday's show. And uh, even more fingers crossed, I'll get to meet Mrs McCavin. Yes, the jury is still out on that. I was at the Envy. <laughs> right, where's my credits? There they are. OK, I'm off. I'm going to bed. I'll see you next week. Ta-ta.
Vapacine is proudly sponsored by Health eVape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.